Hey, how's it going? Well, in our last video, we showed how you could build a uh, quilting machine like this. So I thought it would be appropriate to show it in use and demonstrate how it works exactly. There wasn't quite time for that in the previous video. So here we go. One thing before we get started, remember this rear track here, I never did screw it in tight. It's still floating and just able to move freely on the tabletop. So I probably will never get around to mounting this uh, to the frame. It, the frame is clamped, C-clamped in the back and in the front in uh, four places. But this track is free to float. So this quilting machine is set up to use a standard sewing machine. And that means that probably in the manual there will not be a section that you can look under for quilting. But there's probably one in there for darning and that's where you want to start. A couple things you'll need to do to set up your machine. First you're going to take off the standard foot and put this darning or omnidirectional foot in there. You see how it's got an oval at the bottom? And then, I don't know if you can see up here, but there'll be a hooked arm, plastic arm, on this foot. And that hook needs to go above the tightening screw for the needle. The feed dogs are going to have to be retracted down below this top plate. And there's usually a switch for that down inside where you can draw these feed dogs. This particular machine also had a type of dog on the top that helps drag the fabric and that has to be moved into the up position. And then finally you're going to have to set the actual height of the foot into the darning position. So in this particular machine, this is the down or low position. You can move it into the up position. And how this machine works is by putting pressure in this direction. When I lower the foot, it snaps into a third position, which is the darning position. And that's what you're going to need for your machine. Here you can see how we marked the tubing for center and we put a little mark on the batting or fabric in aligning the centers up before we roll it onto the pole. Well, we're in between quilts right now on the machine, so I'm going to put together just a little demonstration for you. This is some bottom fabric, and this is some batting, and some top fabric. And that way you'll be able to see the threads, I think, on the camera pretty well with this blue and with this tan. I've got white thread in the machine right now. Okay, so we've got our test fabric loaded on the machine, just a small patch of it. So I put the sandwich together with the top and the batting and the back piece. And you can see this rod here, the take-up pole has a piece of sacrificial fabric on it that stays on this pole all the time and you can see here I've got our sample pinned to the edge of this. Um, otherwise if your quilt is wrapped on this pole you'll never get close enough to the edge to do any quilting. And I just have the rest of it rolled onto this bar here and just clamped down rather than pinching on the edges and doing all the fancy stuff that you would do if you were doing a nice big quilt. Okay, so we have our little tracing board set up here and a little test pattern put on there. And you can position your machine where you want your starting point and then you can adjust your little pointer and make that the starting point on your pattern as well. And I'll just trace around and do a few squigglies so that you can uh, see how that works out, okay?
Okay, I trimmed off the top thread and the bottom thread. And you can see what the thread looks like here. And what I'll do is I will remove it from the rack for a second so you can see the threads on the bottom side. Well, you can see I wasn't concentrating as well as I should have trying to make the video, but here's the pattern, and this is the back side. So, even though it's under complete manual control, meaning that the speed at which you're moving and the rate at which you are sewing are completely up to you, I think it's fairly forgiving. Even though this doesn't have any speed control or computer control, I think it turned out pretty good. And of course, here's our top pattern. And here's our little design that we followed. I made this particular board here out of really thin press board, but the kind that has a white shiny coating on it. And that allows you to take a dry erase marker and sign your name, or you could even do any sort of a temporary drawing on this board and follow it uh, for any kind of fun that you can dream up. These patterns uh, were just printed out on our printer. So there you go. There's the front. And there's the back. So I'm at what we would call the moron level of quilting. I'm really not a quilting guy. But hey, I can do this. You ought to be able to do it and have some fun.